What's up YouTube, Tim Flow Crazy, and I'm going to be doing a deck profile for you guys. I actually got a few requests um, on a video or two here and there of people asking to see my actual deck. So um, this is the deck that I currently use. I used to use the Harpies a little while ago. Updated it, made the deck profile. I have a Noble Knight deck profile I've been meaning to post to. I'll do that in a few. So this is like my actual deck. Um, I recently started running Bujins because um, the price dropped and uh, they're still obviously a really good deck. And they're very capable with the right build of getting wins in the new format. The only new deck that I have faced so far is Yang Zings. And I was able to win in a match. So um, maybe that'll help you know where they stand in the new format because um the new format it's a I think it's a little slower I'm not sure it's not like um um it's not OTK oriented I don't think so which is cool because um Bujins aren't really like that either they're more of a control the field kind of thing so yeah I'm gonna make this one a little quicker because my harpy deck profile I made that like I made that like um 30 minutes long so I'm not gonna do that here I'm just gonna give very brief explanations as to why I picked what card and that's it so I'm gonna get started um, first of all you'll be running the three Yamato um, obviously main guy he lets you send your Bujins to the graveyard and add them to your hand. And um, it could be used in many ways. And I'm sure if you're watching, you all know what Yamato does and the main goal. So yeah, um, next. To Mikazuchi. Um, he's the same. He's like um second main guy in the deck. Basically, when he's destroyed... When any of your Bujin Beast Warriors are destroyed, you get to special summon him automatically. So, um, that's pretty, uh, pretty good effect. Next, one Hiroom. Sometimes I consider using two. I have one of her side decked. So, um, only because, um, as you guys know, Hiroom you can banish a Bujin from the graveyard and special summon her so that comes in handy a lot and um, the reason I only have one high room right now is because I'm testing out Arasuda so you're running one Arasuda and next for the three newly hollow cranes as you can see here three Bujinki Crane. This is your hand trap basically during damage calculation during either player's turn. When a Beast Warrior Bujin monster battles then you can uh, send this card from your hand to the graveyard and the attack of your monster become double the original attack. So yeah that's pretty cool. It's a hand trap. This is I think the only hand trap out of all the Bujins that I use. Then we have the newly hollow. I like how they made every card hollow for Bujins almost. The two turtles. This stops your Bujin from being destroyed by battle or card effect. No, this one is the card effect one. Sorry. This is like when a card effect is activated that targets a Bujin monster you control. You can banish this card from your graveyard and negate the effect. And the other one, the battle or card effect, is hair. Um... Yeah, this one you banish from the graveyard, and you can stop it from being destroyed by battle or card effects. And you have a Sinew. Sinew is uh, another card I'm newly testing out. This is like a Grave Crane, so um, that's pretty much that. Then for our last Bujin, Quillen. This one might be my favorite to use. But I'm still keeping him at one. What he does is, um, you can, if you control a Bujin Beast Warrior, like Hyrule, Yamato, Arasuda, Mikazuchi, 
then you can target one face up card your opponent controls and destroy it. So that's pretty cool. Wish I had an ultimate. Um, so super Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear. And that's because obviously in Bujins you run Tenki and Bear's effect is very useful. And he's searchable. Then you're running one Honest. Obviously because they're all light and it's another hand trap. I lied about those being my only hand trap then. Um, another hand trap. Effect Veiler. You gotta have a Veiler, you know. To Max C because everyone special summons out the ass nowadays. Um, new format, I'm sure it's slowed down, so I might be swapping the Valor to 2 and the Max C to 1. We'll see how that goes. And um, that's it for the monsters. We're going to move on to the spells. For the spells, you're running 3 Tenki. Obviously, your main search target is all the Beast Warriors you have. So, um, Tenki is just a must, and then you can pop with Bear. So that's pretty cool. You're running three MST. Because back row is always going to be back row. And for the only card in this deck that isn't hollow, which they'll probably get around to it, but a very good card, Rouge Incarnation. Basically, this card, if you control no monsters and your opponent does, you can target one of your banished Bougians and one of your Bougians in the graveyard and special summon them both. So it calls for some pretty clutch plays. One duality. Sometimes you just need to like pull for your motto. It's really hard. Um, you have a lot of ways to get your motto. So if you like by some chance don't get a tent key and don't get a Yamato. But in your first turn where you get a duality, you have a good chance of revealing the top three cards and it being a Tenki or it being a Yamato, so that's always good. Um, one Dark Hole. One Soul Charge. And one Forbidden Lance. That's it for the... For the traps, you'll be running... 2D Prison, you will be running 1 Compulse, 1 Breakthrough Skill, and Bottomless, Torrential, and Mirror Force. You know, just the staple, staple joints. Uh, I'm going to go on to the extra deck now. Um, of course, you're running two Susano because that is like your main Bujin XYZ. That's the one you're going to use all the time. He, he can attack all. He's just Bujin, so it could be any of the Bujins. And he attacks all monsters your opponent controls once. And you can detach and get Yamato to hand. So that's clutch. One Kagasuchi. It's crazy how much this guy just got reprinted, right? Um, but I'm still going to run with the ultimate. And, um, one Tsiomi, if that's how you say it. And one Bujin Amaterasu. That's it for the Bujin guys. Amaterasu, he's kind of just there because he's a Bujin. That's it for the Bujin XYZs. Um, very necessary. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger King. Um, when he's summoned, you get to set a Tenki. So Tenki meaning Auto Yamato. So And it's two um, Beast Warrior monsters, so you can make them pretty easily. So yeah. Um, then you'll be running two 101s because one is never going to be enough. And um, I'm kind of upset I only have one ultimate 101 because the value just dropped dramatically. But, um, yeah, so two 101s is the number, and now everyone could have two, so it's cool. 
bomb I'd recommend going out and getting to because no one ever expects the second 101 and it's definitely a necess necessity. Almost every time I duel and have like a pretty serious duel, I'll do the double 101. One excite on just to have, um, you know, he's just there. And now he's a lot cheaper, and again, so you guys can get your hands on him. Uh, Constellar Omega, because all Bougians are light monsters. Maestro. Gaga Cowboy. Heartland Draco. I kind of have him in here as the same reason as Gaga Cowboy. Sometimes you just need to hit for game and you need that one desperation card that'll just do it if you can't clear the field. So it's a great um, if your opponent's under 2,000 or at exactly 2,000 and you're trying to hit for game. Unless they have an effect veiler, they probably won't be stopping you. Um, one Ragna Zero. And the guy, the new guy, one Castell. He's um really good card. Might want to get your hands on him too. All right, side deck. The thing with the side deck is, um, if I was going to like a tournament, it might be completely different. I don't have any high dollar cards in my side deck. Um, I just have, you know, I'm not a tournament guy. I I do play in locals. I've won a few times, but um, the side deck thing, I just have some basic side deck cards that I feel like a lot of people could have. Two DD Crow, two Fossil Dyna. Um, he's pretty cool. Two Card Card D. I have my second Hyroom. Two Twister. One Kaiser, which I always end up putting in Kaiser Coliseum and Bougians, depending on what deck you're playing, is insane. If you're playing any um deck that swarms the field and you have Kaiser and you just control the field with Yamato, you're pretty much unstoppable. Um one D Fissure, one Soul Release, two Typhoon. The reason I have so much um back row popping is like because if I was you know if I was deciding Typhoons and Twisters it would be against a deck where it's just really back row heavy. So that's why I have that because I hate back row. And if there is a deck that is beating me sorely based on back row, I want to side in these cards and be able to not have that happen. And a macro cosmos. So, yeah, that's my deck profile. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, comment below, and let me know how you feel about the deck. If you have any of your two cents to throw in, I'm always open to advice. So yeah, let me know and have a great day.